from Big Paulie back for some What's in the Poundland Bin. Yes, it's Sunday again. Time for some Poundland Bin. Look, I've started to put some little Christmas decorations up. Oh, yes. Now I just need to work out where to put all the tinsel and crap. Anyway, we'll do that soon. But uh, it's time for Poundland Bin. Time to dig down deep, find out what's coming out the bin today and i hope that's not going to be in the way that's here for sunday for the live chat but uh, it's out of the way of the screen but anyway let's do it let's find out what movie it's going to be today oh i'm so excited yes i'm so excited because there's no other insidious movies in the poundland bin <laughs> I'd hope, <laughs> unless Mama Bowman decided to slot Insidious 2 in there, the cow. <laughs> right, let's find out then. What's in the Poundland bin? Hello, Poundland Bin. Do you know what time it is again? Yes, it's Sunday. It's time for you to open your gob and spit me something out. E. Right, OK. And you can wipe that smug look off your face. Right, OK, let's do it. <laughs> Left or right? Let's go right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, got something, got something, got something. <laughs> On the first day of Christmas, Baby Yoda said to me, pick out something that's sealed. <laughs> Okie dokie, and he wasn't wrong. It's certainly sealed. Feels like it's got a bit of a slip cover on it. It's definitely sealed. Should we take bets on if it's upside down? <laughs> Yes, he's upside down. Oh my god. Okie dokie. Okay, this should be... This should be an interesting one. Because I've never seen this. Um, and it's got Empire Strikes Back in the title. But it's not Star Wars. Who do you think you're kidding, Mr Hitler? Who oh, do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler? <laughs> Dad's Army. Yes, I've never seen this. This is the uh, the remake, isn't it? Bill Nye, Catherine Zeta-Jones. Oh, this is going to... I hope this is going to be a laugh. I've heard some mixed things about it. Very funny and affectionate and well-crafted homage. Right, OK, let's get the vapping off and... Um, Let's watch Dad's army. Didn't know Dad had an army. Okay, so we have the wrapping off. Okie dokie, let's have a look. Oh, yes. Uh, take this as a digital code. Watch it anyway. Okay, we'll put that to one side. Okie dokie. Disc out, and is it shiny? Who do you think you are calling shiny disc? Oh, God, I'm not going to get that out of my head now, am I? Okie dokie, open Sesame Street. In you go. Bye bye, Captain Mallorin. And play it. Okay, disc is in. Spinning. Yes, I've got a banana to eat, plus some Diet Coke and some popcorn. So let's watch Dad's Army, and I'll give you my thoughts after the movie. Let's do it! Who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler? Okay, so Dad's army. Yes, who do you think you're kidding? <laughs> Mr. Hitler. Um, yeah, it was moderately entertaining. Um, I think you have to really disassociate this from the TV series. 
Otherwise, you're just going to be comparing. You're going to be ca comparing characters, comparing actors. Um, it's not as funny. It's not as funny. That's the main problem with the film. I think it suffers in the script. There are a few funny one-liners every now and again. Uh, Corporal Jones, I saw you slip her a sausage. <laughs> if they'd kept that momentum up, that kind of comedy throughout the film, then I think it would have been a much funnier film. Um, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Basically, the main premise, if you haven't seen the original TV series, uh, it's about a group of uh, home guard soldiers in Warm Warmington on Sea, I think it is. And their job is to uncover this German spy that's arrived in in the town. Um, and we don't know who it is to start with. And then piece by piece it's revealed eventually who the German spy is. Um, the cast is not bad. Um, Bill Nye is actually kind of funny. <laughs> doing his usual thing. Catherine Zeta-Jones is really good as a reporter that's doing a piece on the home guard for a magazine. Uh, Toby Jones, who plays Captain Mannerin, yeah, he was quite good, actually. Um, he's not trying to be Arthur Lowe. He's just doing his thing, just do as him. So I'm, I'm glad that a lot of them didn't try to copy the original cast and try to mimic uh, the original cast. We've also got Tom Courtney. Michael Gambon was funny. I think probably Michael Gambon was one of the funniest in the cast. Uh, we also have Bill Patterson, Daniel Mays uh, and Blake Harrison. Uh, Blake Harrison is from The Inbetweeners. <laughs> and I, whenever I see his face, there's only one thing I think of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, he plays Pike. What's your name? Don't tell him, Pike! <laughs> Funnily enough, though, Ian Lavender, who was the original Pike, actually has a cameo. Um, I think he's the only one that's that's actually still alive. Um, but, uh, yeah, he was moderately entertaining. Um, it felt sometimes a little bit slow-paced that there should be more comedy elements injected into it it should have run at a little bit of a faster pace the last 20 minutes of the movie was actually the best 20 minutes it's fast paced um a lot of good action set pieces and um it 20 yeah i mean if the film had been if the film had had the momentum of the last 20 minutes of the film um even with the dialogue then i think it would have been a much more enjoyable film but the only problem with being like Dad's Army is that the first thing that people are going to think of, oh, God, what do we want that for? You know, oh, you can't replace the original actor. So there's always going to be a job trying to bring a classic to the big screen with a different cast. As we recently saw with the lost scripts of Dad's Army, the cast on those episodes did good. Uh, you could tell the comedy was there, the writing was brilliant. Um, it just wasn't delivered the same way that it would have originally been. So I think that suffered there. But those episodes were were quite entertaining. But yeah, Dad's Army, not a bad film. Don't think it's going to be a film that you would see that often. Like I say, it's a bit slow paced at, at sometimes. But the cast did a really good job. Um, the picture quality is really good, nice, crisp and clear. Lots of little quaint shop fronts, cafes, World War II style, you know, cobbled roadways, you know, that kind of thing that you'd see in little places like York or, or maybe Canterbury. Of course, a lot of it was shot outside, so you got lots of rolling hills and lots of green and things like that. One thing on the film I do have a little pick with, though, that they had to go to the base in Dover. Now, you see the White Cliffs, uh, but in not in one shot did you see Dover Castle. <laughs> but that's only a little nitpick, and that's only because of me living in Dover. But, uh, yeah, not bad. 
Uh, the audio was DTS HD Master Audio 5.1, which was pretty good. Some channels did seem a little bit too loud. The two front channels seemed overly loud at times. You know, there wasn't a lot going on, but it was a little bit loud. The dialogue was crisp. Uh, there wasn't much use of the bass, uh, the subwoofer, except for maybe gunshots and, and a grenade going off at the end. But uh, other than that, okay. Bonus features, um, there's Legacy and Women of Warmington. So it looks like two little documentaries. So, yeah, not bad. And it was an hour and 39 minutes, I believe. So how would I rate it on a scale of 1 to 10? Because um, it's a hard act to follow, you know, the original series. Uh, did it entertain me? It did entertain me. But it left me a little bit bored at times, a few a few areas here and there. So I'm going to give Dad's Army five and a half out of ten. OK, so what are we going to do with Dad's Army? Are we going to disband it um, or are we going to put it on the shelf? Let's find out. OK, so is it a film that I'm going to watch again anytime soon? Um... I actually don't think so. Like I said, yes, it was moderately entertaining, but it did leave me a little bit bored from time to time. But other than that, the cast were good. The script is where the problem was. Wasn't as funny as I thought it was going to be. And um, yeah, kind of like left me thinking, oh, this could be so much better. But uh, it was what it was. But uh, it's not a film that I can see myself just sticking in the play out on a boring day with, you know, raining outside. But there you have it. So that's my review of Dad's Army. So I hope you enjoyed this week's What's in the Poundland bin. Like the video by giving it some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, share and comment if you've seen the film. Did you like the film? Didn't you like the film? Uh, and did you watch the original series? And uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Bye, my friends.